Hi everyone, welcome to Pentacool Math Mania. Today we will be using math as our superpower to learn about choosing meters versus choosing centimeters. All objects can be measured in some way, shape or form. However, all objects can't be measured in the same way. Length can be measured in different units. We can measure length in meters or centimeters. Centimeters is a smaller unit of length. For example, the length of a phone can be measured in centimeters or the height of a bottle of water. Meters, however, is a larger unit. We measure taller and longer items in meters. For example, the height of a wall or the length of one's yard. Lillian and Christine are measuring different items around the house. They have a 30 centimeter ruler, a meter rule, and a tape measure to help them make these measurements. The first item they attempt to measure is a pencil. Lillian wants to use the meter rule, however Christine disagrees. She points out that it would be easier to use the small ruler as a pencil is rather short. Using the 30 centimeter ruler was very simple and effective, giving them a length of 20 centimeters. They proceed to measure the length and width of a desk. Lillian attempts to use the 30 cm ruler, but it turns out to be too small to measure the dimensions of the table. They then attempt to use the meter rule and obtain the length and width of the desk. The length measured was 85 cm, while the width was 60 cm, both of which were too long for the smaller ruler to measure. The next object on their list is the height of the front door. They can already tell that the 30 cm ruler is too short to obtain this measurement. The meter rule would also pose some difficulty as the door seems to be the length of at least 3 meter rules. They remember that they have a tape measure on hand. Thank you for visiting Math City today. I hope you had fun learning with me. Try the pen cool exercises below to earn points and win great prizes.